Hey guys, don't you just love a good pepper jelly? Well, I sure do, and I've got a good one for you guys today. This is from Dyer's Desires, and this is their organic jalapeno jelly. What's going on guys, it's Bill Moore back again with another hot and spicy product review. Now today I have an organic jalapeno jelly. Don't you just love pepper jellies and pepper jams? I sure do. And this one is from uh, Dyer's Desires. Check that out. And this is their organic jalapeno jelly. It comes in uh, mild. And we're also going to be talking about the medium. It comes in a medium heat level. Just check out that beautiful label clear label and it also comes in of course a hot version Dyer's Desires organic jalapeno jelly it says here on the side that these are organic uh, gluten free uh, vegan and nut free okay well let's go ahead and check this out I want to read a little bit about them from their website now these products were sent to me from uh, Jason Dyer there's a picture of Jason with his lovely wife Diana and it says here at Dyer's Desires, we take pride in our ingredients. We have a low sugar, all organic, pectin free jelly. Yes, that's right, pectin free. That's what makes these so unique, as we'll get in here uh, to in a little bit. That is surely addicting with three levels of spice and can go on almost anything from breakfast to dinner, is sure to hook even the pickiest of palates. We've worked to perfect the taste bud explosion that you will soon come to know and love. We cannot wait to hear and read your honest reviews and tell us what new ways you enjoy our jelly. This jelly is only the beginning of the delicious toppers we have created. So hang on tight as more products come to the table. And I believe they're gonna be doing some things with peppers and fruits. So looking forward to that. It says, uh, we are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and just like everything, anything in Texas, our flavor is big. And it says here on the website that these um, our jelly is like nothing you've ever tried before. Our customers have tried it once and understand why we are named Dyer's Desires. Not only is the flavor one of a kind and 100% organic, but it pairs with so many different types of foods. And I can attest to that. I love pepper jellies on just cream cheese and crackers, bagels, uh, toast. Uh, but you could also use them as a marinade. Um, as a dipping sauce. Uh, so there's many things you can do with uh, pepper jellies. And they say that some of their customers have put it on waffles, cream cheese and crackers, bagels, eggs, quesadillas, tacos, tamales, and even stir fry. The sky is the limit with this unique and delicious jelly. Now, they also say on their website that they use only bell peppers to color their organic jellies uh, because of... Uh, Jason does have a food allergy and he's very concerned about food allergies. So he wants to make sure that these products are as clean as possible. Now here's the ingredients guys on this. I want to go ahead and read the ingredients and then we'll get into each one of these. These are what makes these so unique. Uh, sodium is very low, only 35 milligrams. And I believe that is the same for all of them. Mild, medium, hot. And yes it is, but the ingredients are the same exactly for the mild, medium, hot. You're just going to find a little bit more jalapeno slices um, as you move up to the hotter one. But here's the ingredients. They're using organic cane sugar, organic vinegars. Not only one, but using four, a blend of four different organic vinegars. Purified water, organic peppers, pink Himalayan salt, citric acid. Now instead of pectin, he's using a couple of food thickeners known as agar agar, which is derived from seaweed. And he's also using locust bean gum, which is derived from the seeds of the um, tree. I can't remember the name of it right now, but some type of tree. Uh, so these are good alternatives to xanthan gum or uh, pectin, I guess, in that, in that case. But let's go ahead and get into this. I want to show you what these look like. I want to show you this way. Now, what makes a good homemade jelly is you want to make sure that, you've, um, that it sets up really nice and it doesn't have to be perfect but just check this out so you got a little bit of um looseness to it so it's not completely uh, like a mold like you might find in the jellies off the supermarket shelf that you can tell that this is homemade 
Look at that, you got a little shake. You ever heard of that? Must be jelly because jam don't shake like that. <laughs> this is definitely a jelly. Now, as you go through the mild one here, I might have eaten some of the uh, jalapeno slices that were in here, but let's check this out. Mm. What I love about these jellies, it's they're so pure and clean tasting. And the aroma, you get the jalapeno. You get that jalapeno pepper aroma. And the flavor it, it comes across is not sugary sweet, if you know what I mean. Sometimes a jelly um, or a jam can be a little bit too sweet. That's not the case with this at all. Now here's the medium one. This is the one I've used uh, the least of. But let me see if I can show you. Okay, here you go. As you get into this here, look at that pepper ring. Jalapeno, big pepper ring. Now the heat on the um, the mild one, very, very low. So I'm really not picking up any heat at all. But let's go ahead and check out this medium. Isn't that a beautiful color too? All right, here we go. Mm. Now you've got a pepper ring to chew on. Mm. Delicious. You can taste the blend of the vinegars. Not too vinegary, but you're getting a nice um, tanginess from the vinegar. The, uh, the cane sugar is given just the right amount of sweetness without being sugary sweet, if you know what I mean. So delicious. Really, really good. Uh, some of the best uh, pepper jellies I've ever tasted. Now, look at this one. This is the hot one. When you get into this one, if I can show you here without spilling it, you can see some of the... Um, this one definitely is just chock full of pepper rings. So this is the hotter one, so you're definitely going to get more rings in this one, jalapeno rings. But it's the same flavor on all of them. Ooh, so delicious, guys. Um, I guess even the heat on these um, probably maybe the hot one I was registering a two or three, so they're very, very mild. It just depends on how much of the jalapeno pepper rings that you get in one bite. But the flavor is just outstanding, so pure, so clean, just done so well. You can tell that it's made with these organic ingredients and something different than pectin, something more healthy for you. Definitely comes across in the, uh, the flavor of these jellies. These are just absolutely wonderful. Now here's a couple of things I did. The first thing I did, of course, was I had the mild one and the medium one on a cream cheese bagel bagel and cream cheese with the jalapeno jelly on that that was really good but one of the most popular ways to eat a, a pepper jelly is with cream cheese um, and the other thing I did was uh, you know my wife is Korean and Myung made some of her pork and kimchi mandu dumplings pan fried dumplings we use usually use a sweet and sour sauce or a sweet chili sauce for those I used some of this pepper jelly and that was outstanding on that. I think that'd also be good on egg rolls as well. Um, I think that uh, you could use this on pork tenderloin to marinate pork tenderloin, use it on pork chops. I think the uses are endless for pepper jellies. So many things you can do with it. Um, this is one of my top products for the year so far, guys, in 2021. This is an excellent product. Dyer's Desires, one taste and you're going to really desire more of this one. So uh, great products, highly recommended. Check them out, guys, at DyersDesires.com. That link will be down in the description. Jason and Diana, thank you so much for sending these products. I greatly appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time, make sure you enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.